Hey. I'm going through a bit of a difficult time in my life right now. And uh, I've also been, you know, trying to continue doing content and, you know, continue chasing the dreams, so to speak. Hanging in there, you know. And also <laughs> trying to come up with a, uh, a video idea for YouTube because I wanted to um, to keep posting. You know, I felt like I maybe found something I actually enjoy doing and that I can do. I know I post the podcasts and the music and other things, but I wanted something just for YouTube. And then I realized I can just talk. I feel like I'm pretty good at it at this point in my life. <laughs> but the trouble is, you know, you have to have something, an idea. And then I came across it today. And I thought I would talk to you today about your younger self. I came across a poem today by a poet called Chloe Jade. It's called Dear Sensitive Soul. And I'll read it to you. Your younger self. Your younger self would feel safe with you. Your younger self would run into your open arms, show you their artwork, and fall asleep on your chest. Your younger self would tell you how they feel and know that you would listen. You have already become the person you needed. This is a beautiful poem, but I'm not just reading it because it's a beautiful poem. I'm reading it because it struck a chord with me and I needed to say something on it. And that's often the way it goes with me in YouTube videos. I came, I come to, to the dance when I've got something to present. This poem got me thinking about my younger self when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. There was a lot I was dealing with, but amongst all the other things I was dealing with, one of the biggest things I was dealing with was just a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-belief. I was angry, I was scared, I was upset, I was... just didn't feel like a normal person. I always kind of felt overlooked, underappreciated. People would always kind of push me away or, you know, I would be the last person that people would think of if they even thought about me. Um, I'm talking about like friend groups and stuff like that. Like basically, I, n I never, f I never fit in, and I'm sure it's very cliche. We've all heard that, but I guess it really got to me because not only was I not fitting in, but I didn't really know where my place in the world was. And as I got older, I started to wonder if I have a place in the world at all. As I've become an adult, I've realized that I'm able to function on my own, by myself. And any company that I do end up having, I cherish that. It means the world. I really make the most of it. But when I think about what it's taken to get to this point in my life where I'm a strong person, and I'm not scared anymore, and I'm confident, and I'm positive. It was a long journey to get here. And poems like this make me think of my younger self, and how, you know, a lot of the time he just wanted to have someone listen to him, and hear him, care what he had to say, and not reject him, not push him away to understand his pain and understand that what he wanted more than anything else was to be accepted, to be loved for who he was. These days, I learned to love myself. And I think by doing so, others were able to love me. But it was a difficult 
journey to get to that point. I think I had to kind of realize that the most important thing is to love yourself. And it sounds crazy when, when you feel unloved for someone to say that to you. You're like, what do you mean? And you, you get angry at that, you get frustrated at that. I was very angry and frustrated when I was younger because I felt like the things in life that others got were the things that I didn't get. The opportunities that other people were afforded were not the opportunities that were afforded to me. The reality is that very little in life is actually in your control. You can control how you feel, you can control how you react to things, but you can't control what's going to happen. All you can do is prepare yourself as much as possible, don't lose your cool, and try to be positive. And I think with positivity a lot of the time it comes down to trying to find the good things within the bad, trying to look at a situation and go, you know what, maybe it's not the end of the world. Maybe there's something here that I can take from this. Maybe there's a way I can find myself on my feet. Like right now in my life, I was just talking to a friend earlier and, and we were laughing because we're both really struggling and we're doing everything we can to kind of get out of this situation. But eventually there comes a point where there's just nothing you can do. All you can do is your best. And the crazy thing about that is that when I think back to my younger self and when I was young, I always felt so helpless. I always felt like nothing would ever get better and that I was always going to be alone and that I was always going to be sad and lonely and rejected. And that wasn't the case. I still feel those emotions sometimes, but now I'm very happy alone. And as I said, when, when I do get to spend time with friends, family, loved ones, it's like an extra bonus, but I'm okay either way. I'd love to go back and just hug my younger self, tell him it's gonna be okay get emotional now I try and keep it together that's one thing about me is that I always just kept going there wasn't any master plan no superhero powers no special fix for anything I just kept going sometimes you confide in people your loved ones and they'll be able to sometimes give you advice sometimes not a lot of the time, you just have to keep going. And the funny thing is that like, my life is not perfect. If anything, it's, it's stressful, it's scary, it's, it tests my patience all the time, it's frustrating, it's disheartening, but it's also amazing. It's also incredible. It's also something I never could have imagined. Um, despite not having the things I want, there are a few things I have that I thought I never would have. And I can't help but look at who I was when I was younger and think about what he would think about now. What he would think about me. I guess the whole point of this video is reflecting on who I am today and, and if my younger self would be proud. I think he would. I think you'd be amazed that I was able to become strong and confident. I think he would look at that and be like, I can't believe it. I can't believe that's possible. Didn't think that that was in the cards for us, but it was. And look, I can't give you the answer to how that works. We all have our different path, but I know in my path, the main way that I achieved that was I took the leap. And you know what I'm talking about. It's scary to take the leap and just believe and trust the process, trust yourself. But think about it. Everything that you've been through in your life is a test. Sometimes there's a lesson. 
sometimes there's nothing at all. Sometimes life just sucks. And I like to believe that the test is just trying to get through that and trying to get through the other side and and be better, be stronger. And you, you know, it's like, if you want to be stronger, it's not about lifting weights or or doing some great heroic gesture. It's it's about getting through the difficult things in life, pushing yourself through those situations and coming out the other side and realizing, wow, I guess I was stronger than I thought I was. And the reality is you were always strong. You just needed to believe in yourself and understand that you can get through anything. Really, you can. You just have to believe and push and not give up and not be afraid. And I'm glad that I'm not afraid anymore. Life's not easy. Life will never be easy. But I like to think that my younger self would look at me now and realize that it's okay to be afraid, but ultimately you have to move through it and face your fears. And that's how you get what you want. So there it is. Thank you.